Hey, Lamar Scholl from Direction to Success. Welcome. I almost would have to guess you're watching this video because you're wondering as a marketer or running an online business, how in the heck are you leaving money on the table? Well, tell you what, if you want to find out, stick around. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's go. I don't want to take too much of our time, especially yours. So let's get into this. So this video is for anybody that has an online business. That's affiliate marketers. If you're a network marketer into MLM, even if you're a coach or an author and you have an online business, you might want to stick around and watch this whole video and get out your pencil and pad or pen, whatever you are comfortable with, your iPad, laptop, phone, you get the idea, anything to take notes. So what I want to talk about is running traffic, whether that traffic is free or paid to your business. Now, when I say business, this could even be maybe a webinar you have going or on or even just a YouTube video you just got done doing or a Facebook live. Most people, what they do is run traffic directly to that link or their link. So that's what I'm kind of showing here on this slide. This, isn't, this is not the right way to do it. And this is the way the majority of people are doing it. So I don't know if you can see my cursor right here, just above the traffic. So normally what you do, people are doing is you have traffic. So like I said, this could be free or paid, right? So you could be on Facebook. This could be your Facebook audience. You could be on YouTube. These could be your YouTube subscribers watching your video. You could be running an ad, whether that's a solo ad, a display ad, right? PPV, uh, ads on YouTube. Uh, Facebook ads, right? So this could even be paid traffic. Now, what most people are doing is taking that traffic and bleep, sending them right over to their offer. So the offer in this case could be your product, right? The link for your product or a blog page you just wrote or even a Facebook Live you just got done doing, right? Well, what happens now is someone, this traffic comes to your offer and maybe it just doesn't quite resonate with them at this particular time. Your offer, video, whatever you're um, taking the traffic to is probably great. It's probably perfect. But the first time we watch something or see something or something's presented to us, right, it doesn't quite sink in. So what's going, you know, the thing that will be happening here is your traffic comes to your offer. Perfect. But what happens is, they're just, like I said, it's not resonating with them. So maybe they're just not quite in the mood, right? Or you might even have them close, but you just got to give them that extra push. But what ends up happening is they end up leaving, right? They close that web page down or whatever, and then they go off in their merry way, go watch Netflix or watch another video on YouTube, whatever it may be, right? Now you lost them forever, right? They're gone. You just had that traffic and they were close. Now, what I'm showing here is that same traffic. Instead of taking that traffic directly to your offer, you're going to put this uh, page, this web page in the middle between the traffic and your offer. And this middle page is called a capture page. This is where you are going to collect information information from the visitors that you get your leads from your traffic and what type of information you're going to collect well it depends what you want right the most basic piece of information you're going to collect is their email now you might want to get a little bit more than this maybe their name and phone number so that's what a capture page is going to do and what this will do then once they enter that information that will go into your email list, all that information, and stay there. Now, that's yours. 
you own your email list no, so no matter what happens you'll always have this information their information and from there you can market to them more right so now you can start sending out more emails to your people on your list so once they opt into your email they click on like a submit button a call to action button it's more commonly called then they will be taken to your offer so you understand the difference now before let me see if i can back up <laughs> there we go so this is what normally the way everybody's doing it the traffic is going straight to the offer and if they don't resonate or take you know have any interest at that moment in time in your offer they're gone forever now the way by adding the new strategy right by adding your own capture page that same traffic will go to your capture page they enter their information then they're automatically taken to your offer now say the same thing happens they're not interested in your offer or at this particular time maybe they're off worrying about missing some their favorite show on TV or dinner. I mean, who knows, right? Whatever the reason is, they'll get up and leave. But guess what? You have them on your list. This is your email list that you own, right? So now what you can do is start marketing to them by sending out emails. So not only, you know, you can do this more than once, right? And even if they buy, so even if that, um, that lead comes in, enters their information the capture page and they buy your offer guess what you still have them on your email list and you can now if they if they bought one product yeah, let me back up if they bought one product from you they're probably going to buy another you know the old um sayings like a buyer is a buyer is a buyer right so now what you can do is don't obviously send them the same offer that they've seen send them a different offer that you may have so this is a, where a lot of your money is going to be made the money really is sitting down in this email you know so you're, you're running traffic maybe one percent of that traffic by your offer maybe I don't know 30 to 40 percent of that traffic end up putting their information into your email list well now you can go back and start marketing to them through email and using a capture page like i was saying works for any niche it doesn't matter whether you're in fitness in bitcoin um, an affiliate marketer selling digital products in healthcare an author it's all the same it's in a, the same strategy should be applied to every single niche now i'm sure you've seen capture pages before so i just want to show you what i'm talking about when I mean a capture page. So I before I go, I hope that this makes sense to you, right? So the traffic's gonna go to your capture page. The capture page is just a one-page website that generally you just um the visitor's gonna enter their information, such as their email and maybe their name. And once they do, you're taken, you know, that will then take them to the offer, and you have their information where you can market to them later. So let me just <clears throat> sorry about that slide on over here and see if I've got some examples of capture pages up I guess I got to escape out of my little presentation man this is a capture page I just created this morning and these I'm telling you they don't take much time these don't take a couple hours these didn't even, these capture pages did not even take me an hour now look you don't have to be a techie you don't have to be an expert because just a little bit later in this video i'm going to show you right on this video we're going to create a capture page from scratch from blank and i'm going to show you the system i use to do it but here is a typical capture page that you would find say for the health niche right or even <clears throat> breaking the health eating healthy niche down a little bit more what about eating healthy on a budget right so that's like a micro niche right within one now so what i'm trying to do is show you yeah you can do a niche or you can even have a micro niche something very specialized and especially then it's all the more reason to start using a capture page but a capture page generally looks like this there's just a title this one i kept very short eating healthy on a budget right 
you can achieve your dreams here is the key and you like the little key image now adding all these images look at the background the background of all this nice fruit like i said i made all this it's all custom right and it, it is not hard to do it's very simple and the first thing you notice there's no place to enter an email address on here right wow that's why they have to click on the get the key button now once they do you notice here i'm not collecting anything more than just an email address they enter their email address in here and that will then take them to the sales page so what i'm just going to do is something like this i enter my email and click on the button and this is nice this is a nice feature that we have this saves bots from getting in and giving you false clicks i love that and now when they enter their email this is my sales page right so this could be any sales page that you have in your business this could be a, even a video that you know on youtube that you've done one of your old facebook lives that have been recorded it does <coughs> i'm sorry about that i'm getting over a cold but <coughs> this doesn't have to be in a sales page like it is in this case it could be anything you want but this is my sales page i've done for one of my offers right so here's bonuses that i've done but i don't really want to talk about that today i just want to show you that these are real live um landing page capture pages sorry now the last one we are looking at remember that was for the health niche and we had all the fancy fruit in the background and that one took you to a sales page. Well, what about if you just sometimes, sorry, sometimes capture pages work just as well being plain and simple. Look at this, put a little YouTube icon here, right? So somebody starts looking at this, they think video, free video, right? Simple formula reveals my number one choice to lose 10 pounds in just seven days. So here's the weight loss niche, right? So this is where, you know, again, another micro niche kind of, right? So you're in the weight loss, but you want to lose weight quick. So you could also be <coughs> in the niche where, you know, in the weight loss niche, well, maybe you don't want to lose 10 pounds that quick. Maybe it's over a month, but it all depends on where you're at. But look how simple this capture page is done. And like I said, this capture page, same thing. I did this one did not even take me hours did not even take me a half hour it took me like 15 minutes to sit here and do i'm not even in the weight loss niche i just sat there and said huh i want to have a you know capture page to go to my video well my virtual video that you know for for tell somebody hey this is how you can lose 10 pounds in seven days right so that's some video you could have on youtube that's some uh, your Facebook Live, right? Let's move on. I'm sorry for hurrying, but I got a lot to cover through. And I got to even do one of these on this video and show you just how easy it is to do. That's what I really want to get to. Let's go here. What about if you're trading Forex, right? Look at this cool page. You've got the nice gold coins in the background. And now look, discover safer and simpler way to start trading Forex, right? we're changing we we are changing lives so again this works the same way you would just enter your email address here like i can put my email address in here again whoops i gotta spell this correctly and get click on the get instant access button and once again we're just taking this to the page to protect us from bots coming in I don't know if it's case sensitive. I can't remember. So here's another example of just going to another one of my sales pages, right? So again, this landing page could, the same landing page could easily be created to go to a video that you were advertising. I just want to hook these up really quick and give you the idea. And I'm going to show you how to do all this. I'm going to show you how to connect it to your email list. I'm going to show you how to connect it to a landing page. We're going to get all that covered here in a matter of minutes. I want to show you one more thing because basically the three landing pages I just got done showing you, they all kind of look the same, right? So you're saying, yeah, they almost look like copies of each other, right? But let me 
Well, we're going to go to one more, one last one. What about if you're in the e-commerce niche, right? Whether you have a Shopify website or you, you're selling products on um, Amazon or eBay, whatever it is, check this out. You might even have a webinar. How's that? So you're in the e-commerce niche. You just got done creating this unbelievable webinar. Now you're driving traffic to the webinar. Let me just go back. Give me a second here. Give me a second. I want to show you. We'll stick to this webinar theme for a minute here. So say you have this webinar that you've been doing. Now this is the old way and this is the wrong way. So you got all that traffic going over to your offer, in this case, your webinar. Now, a lot of people are going to sit there and say, well, I don't have time right now for a webinar, or it's just not quite resonating with them, right? So you're going to do it this way. You're going to take that same traffic. You're going to take them to your capture page. This capture page is going to collect all your webinar information. And I'm going to show you that in a second here, right? And this is where they're going to put the name, schedule a time. Also, you'll be able to then take them and keep save all that information to your email list. Why? So you can mark them later. So if they saw the webinar yesterday or may have missed it, you can follow up with email reminders. Right. So then what would happen here is this would look a little bit different because all you're doing this time, you're changing the use of the capture page. Instead of sending them to an offer, you just want them to register for the webinar. So let's just escape out of here and we'll write back in. Now, again, this doesn't take that much time. You can just talk about your webinar here real quick. You can write some bulleted items on your webinar. We're going to get to the orange um, call to action button here in a second, but let me just go a little bit more. Put in a little image over here, right? Now look, we're, this is getting a little bit more sophisticated, right? This is more like a funnel, but this could still be considered your capture page. You have video testimonials here. You can, you can write a brief description of what the webinar is going to be about. Now look at this. Check this out. You click on the orange button. They can go register for a time on the webinar right here. Right, they put their name and email address, and that's it. And you're not even around, right? This is happening 24 seven. So now what you have done with these four different type of capture pages I've shown you, you've collected and got the person's information, more importantly, their email address, so that you can now re send out reminders or market to them or, you know, um, send them emails about other products that you may have. So let me see if I can, what I want to do now, I'm just trying to do two things at once here. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you just how easy it is to put one of these capture pages together. So if you give me a second so I can get set up here. So let's see. All right. So how do I make these capture pages? Well, I use this thing called the Power Lead System. Now, there's a lot more that the Power Lead System does. This is another affiliate program you can use. You can actually make a good income just, you know, offering the Power Lead System. Or if you already have a business like I'm talking about today, you can use it to make your own capture pages. So if you're going out in you know paying to have somebody do your lead, uh, capture pages ah you got to stop right now i'm going to show you just how easy this is so let's just get the show on the road let me just line things up here here we go now what i'm going to do this is totally from scratch brand new right here on this video you and i are going to create a capture page that capture page is going to collect a person's email and once they enter their email it's going to take them over to a sales page so without any further ado let's get going i'm going to show you just how quick this is so when you come into the power lead system after you sign up they have this website section right here i'm skipping over tons so i'm just showing you just one little aspect of the power lead system 
like I, I mentioned before. So this is mainly you can you know I'm just showing you that you can use the power lead system for your primary business and that's exactly how I use it by the way. So the first thing I want to do is come over here to copy web pages. And the power lead system comes with a bunch of templates for capture pages already done for you. It comes with bridge pages. It comes with sales pages. And what I'm showing you today is in this one section. There's actually a few other sections in the back office that even have more templates for you. But I don't want to spend all my time there. I just want to show you how easy this is because when you find one template, in the power lead system they're all work just the same it's all just as easy so what I'm going to do I'm just looking for a capture page that we could possibly use for this little demonstration I like this one right here see the ocean in the background you got the nice cool looking red drink it looks like a strawberry daiquiri I could be wrong but that's what it looks like to me now these are all the different templates I guess I went over them kind of fast that are in the power lead system all right these are all the ones you can start with i'm going to come back to my little drink here in a minute but i i, I should have just kept going look at look at them all all right these are all custom pages that i, I found or been, i've done personally so we can go let's go uh, it keeps going and this list keeps growing as you start building these things and i'm going to show you let's go back let's go back to our drink got to find it here got to find it. here we are now so say let's let's click on it so we can view what it looks like <clears throat> so this is what the landing page is going to look like for you so you can see how much is already done we have this little pop out here in the center right this is where they're going to enter their name and email you got a cool background picture of the beach and this i don't know if it's still up here i'm trying to oh yeah i guess yeah let me see if i can back up i want to show you See if I can back up. There we go. So look at this landing page here, right? So I added this background of this fruit in here, right? Change all this title and everything. So you notice that this um, landing page doesn't have an email address, right? We had to click on the button here to get to that right there. See, right? This is what, oops, this is what they call like a two-step landing page or a micro commitment landing page, right? So that there's uses for that. And sometimes you want to just maybe go the old or, well, the more common way with just the information presented right away. But I just kind of wanted to show you that on the fly. You know, these there's little differences between all these. They kind of look the same after, you know, after you look at a bunch of these. But when you look at the details, there are actually differences that stand out. But let's go back. Sorry, I digress a little bit. So what have we decided? We're going to start with this landing page right here. Now, once I find the template I want to start with, I can decide, well, what fields right here, like, do I want to show on the page? Name and email, email only, name, email, and phone number. Well, no, I normally, and probably like 99.9% .9 .9 of the time, just collect somebody's email address. So I'm just going to click this, copy this page, email only, that middle option. Next thing you want to do, come all the way down. You got to go all the way through these templates. You want to come all the way down here and click on the make me a copy. So we're taking that template with the drink and we're only using the email field. So there's only four steps here that you have to do, right? There's not much. And what we're going to do, let me just do this. I'm just going to get rid of this title. And I don't know, we can call it, what about um, making passive income what about that all right whoops there we go you got to spell it right so all i'm doing is adding a title for my capture page all right now what we have to do down here is create a subdomain right so ju it's just another it's just a name and no spaces right so what i do is basically use the same thing that i've used up here in the title i'm just putting the word demo in front so that i know that this was created at the time i'm doing this video i'm not going to really use this page so i'm just going to do the same thing making 
passive income. And remember, no spaces. So that's step one, title. Step two, create your subdomain. Right now, you don't really have to know what this is for. It's just how the power lead system works. Now, step three, what autoresponder, what email list do I want to connect to? You have your choice of the built-in one that comes with the power lead system. So yes, the power lead system not only can you use to create landing pages, capture pages, sorry about that, it has an email list a contact manager as well. But I'm not going to use that one. I have Aweber, so you have your choice. You either use Aweber or GetResponse. They're two uh, very good, easy to use autoresponders out there. So I'm just telling Power Lead System, I want to use Aweber. Now, what I want to do is tell it what list do I want to connect to, right? So here's all the different lists that I have so far going in Aweber. And I am just going to pick this list right here. Sorry about that. So step number three, you're going to choose your autoresponder. So I chose Aweber and I chose this is the list that I want to use. So what this means that now everybody that the visitors that come to this lane capture page and they enter their email address, it's going to my Aweber account right into this list here. Now, the last but not least is okay what sales page do you want this to go to a video so if you wanted to go to a video you'd go down here and click on another website and this would be the url for your youtube video say if it was on youtube if it's facebook it would be the url to your facebook live right so or recorded live that can go right in here i'm just going to use um, we're going to just use this one right here, the uh, fourth option down, second from the bottom. I'm going to pick a page. This is going to go to a sales page that I've already done, and it's in my, um, sorry, PLS system, Power Lead system. So I'm just I'm trying to do two things at once. Not working out very good today, um, like it ever does. <laughs> Let's go up here. I've got a sales page right here. Let's go to sales page SPA. <clears throat> so let's and the other thing is you can kind of come over here and click on the view page link so you get an idea what it looks like so this will be the sales page I'm going to take them to when they enter their email address let me just close this okay so just let's just review those four steps real quick step one to give the um, your capture page a title step two assign a subdomain to your capture page. Step three, assign, you know, pick you select your autoresponder and select the list of in within the autoresponder. Step four, which sales page do you want to use? Or like I said, if you pick on the fifth option, the last option down here, you can connect this to a blog, a web page, a video, a Facebook Live, right? Even your Instagram page, right? Whatever has a URL, you can shove it in here and it's going to go there once they click on the call to action button and you want to remember always come down and hit save changes now this next step here is just um giving you the chance to change the background see these coins look familiar right that's when we did our little forex uh capture page so I like the one we have here. That red drink caught my eye before, so I'm not going to change it. Okay, now that we're done with our background, or we're going to just leave our background in this case, I mean, if I wanted to change it, I can just select any one of these images here, and that, and then just remember to go down the very, oh, we don't even have to save. Just select one of the images, and then that would be the new image for the capture page, the background image, but we're not going to do that right now. Let's go into Edit Text. So this is our landing page, kind of what it looks like right now. You can see the little drink over here on the right. But this, the message we have on this landing page isn't that good, right? I want to talk about creating passive income. So to do that, I just obviously want to change this message. I like the font and all that that's chosen for me. So what I want to do is just change some of this around. Um, I'm going to just, I don't really know what I'm doing. I didn't have really any of this planned. 
So what I want to do is try to create the very top text here. I want to try to grab somebody's attention, right? So I want to, and mentioning passive income. So what about something like this? And I'm going to get rid of them. The reason why I leave all this, you notice like I kind of typed in the middle of Amazing Secret. I just have known to do that. It makes my life easier over time because it holds all the text properties, like whether it's bold, the font type, in this case, red. And I wanted to start out my title being red. Now, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to type my message here. So again, I'm just going to delete all this. And you see I'm saving the T and because I want to hold the properties of that text for everything else. And it just saves me time from going up to the top in the toolbar and selecting all the type and remembering what it is. And we're going to go back and delete that T if I don't forget once I'm done. So let's see. What about a proven method uh, for making a passive income? Uh, from home. Oops. Let's go back. You see how easy this is? It's not that bad. Oops. So we're going to come over here now that I'm done. So that was the only reason why I kind of did it. It looks kind of wonky at first, but that's the idea. So you can see I've got my red text here. Finally, a proven method for making a passive income from home. Now, it's this looks okay. It's not great. I want to just kind of separate this out in some lines. So I'm going to go after method and kind of hit my enter key. So I want to start a new line. I want to start a new line right there. Let's see. Um, for making a. What I. Oh, yeah. You know the other thing. Let's see. I want to take passive and the word income and leave on their own line. Sorry about that. And we'll see how this turns out. There we go. What about that? A proven method for making. A passive income from home now the other thing is I want passive income to stand out so I'm just holding my left mouse button down and selecting both those words and I can come up I can change the color but I think I just want to underline it so I'm just gonna hit the underline tool and that looks pretty good right finally a proven method for making passive income from home now like everything when you go through these systems in the uh, steps in the power lead system always come down hit the green save button below that's it we're done so now what we're going to do is click on the view link and there it is there's our capture page so what i'm going to do is enter in an email address and we'll call it lamar4 at gmail.com so now i'm going to hit my get instant access button and remember, this was the sales page we hooked up in step number four. Okay. And there it is. Now, we had that connected to AWeber, right? Let me just come over to the top of my browser. I am going to open up my AWeber account for you and show you that that email address just went in there. Right? So, I've got to go to the list. And this is my list right here. Look, I got a bunch of lists in here. But this is the one here. If I remember right, I think it was Soap Series for SAN. Right? And I'm going to go down and look in my subs Manage Subscribers. And there it is right there. Lamar4gmail.com. It's all done right there. This was a test I did earlier today for something else. Right? So now we have just in front of you. Let's go back here. We're in this. This is so we had the landing page. Let's see if I can back up a few steps here. There we go. So we just created this capture page completely from scratch. So this one would be an offer that obviously has either residual or passive income. 
we started with a template we like the background now say you don't like that drink in the background so let's let's check that out for a minute let's go back so I'm back in the power lead system I just want to show you how easy this stuff is to change right and this is where you can start having fun so you want to change the background all you have to do is go into edit background and here's all the different ones right here so I don't know we can choose any of these I can just show you like we'll pick up this uh, blue sky right here the sun setting or rising just setting or rising I don't know but we'll leave we'll leave our message the same right now let's go up here to the top so we can go on the review link it's the very last link here at the top of the section and like we did last time just view our page so voila the drink is now gone the beach scene now we have the sky so look how cool this is right look how easy I'm not in code I'm not doing anything I'm just staying right here with starting from one of the templates in the power lead system and I think I mentioned it before but if I did it there's a lot more templates to choose from within the back office in the power lead system now the like I said, the Power Lead system, you can, if you're an affiliate marketer or network marketer, you can sell the Power Lead system. It is an affiliate program. They've got some great training in the back. There's good offers. <coughs> Sorry about that. But in this video, what I wanted to show you is how you can actually also, in addition, you can use the Power Lead system for creating your own capture pages. No matter what niche you're in, you can create capture pages to take them to your offer. You can create capture pages to take them to a webinar, a Facebook Live, a YouTube video, a blog page, anything you can think of. Maybe you're an author and you're promoting your book. Maybe it's, you're selling it on Amazon. You can take them right to that Amazon page. This is so simple and fun to do. And I'm only showing you just a little bit. Look how fast we did this capture page. And I was talking during this whole video, right? Taking my time. If I was sitting here and just put my mind to this, I would have got it done easily in half the time. I mean, that's literally how simple it is to do. And you saw I didn't go change much. And look how nice this is. I mean, there's other things we can do. We can change the button. We can change, you know, instead of having the black around this text, you know, we could do maybe pick up some of this uh, red or purplish color down here. Maybe possibly, you know, put that here instead of the black, right? I mean, all this is possible. It probably wouldn't look good against the red text here, but whatever. You get the idea. So if you are interested in the Power Lead system, I have a link below this video. Click on the link to check it out for yourself the whole ball of wax it's all open for you for one week it's free you get a one week seven day free trial you can see for yourself how easy this is right take a capture page find one template copy the template do your four steps give it a title a subdomain connect it to your autoresponder if you have a get response or a, a Weber if you don't you can use the built-in one that already comes with the power lead system step number four connect it to your sales page or blog page like we were talking about before go through just update the background image and then next uh, next step you're gonna go in and change your message a little bit whatever you want to do and work on it like that and to test it, you can view it. And you saw, I typed in my email address here, showed you my AWeber account. Bing, the email address went right into my AWeber account, just like it's supposed to. It's that simple. So power lead system, build your landing pages, capture pages, squeeze pages. Those are all the same thing, different name, same thing. That's what we've been doing today. And I did not show you, but you can build your bridge pages. You can create your own sales pages with this. It's a great, great tool for your business. And if you're an affiliate marketer, this makes yet even a better offer to go out and promote. So have that. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. 
And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. 